okay let's guys start demo first of that machine learning with dot net okay so how we can getting started so let's me show you so see this is actually one data i have a data of that iris data that's happen that have you know special length special weight special you know petal length and petal width and also there's a class okay so based on this i need to predict actually data of that whatever the classes okay whatever the classes how many scores over there okay so that's have been done with using dot net machine learning okay so that is very easy very very easy so let's me to show you like how we can start it with machine learning with dot net okay so let's get start implementation so let me open first visual studio okay so i'll show you from the scratch and in upcoming session we'll learn more and more data okay so what i need to do just create a new application and as of now i will use the console application but yeah you can use web api and others a template as well but yeah i will use the console application next okay and just add to machine learning with iris data okay and demo and click the next and choose the framework uh, i use that seven but you can use the later one latest as well so create okay once it's created okay see there's a nothing just created a console app okay and it's have as just hello world okay nothing so what i need to do i just create uh, right click on that and add and see this is a one options okay so if this option is the in in your uh, visual studio does not have so what you need to do you just go to you know tools get tools and features okay it will appearing this dialogues okay and uh, okay so go to the individual component and here you can search ml dot net okay so see this one you have to check okay so once you check so that option will be your in your uh, visual studio okay so as of now i have already done so i'm not doing that okay so what i need to do just click add machine learning model okay choose whatever choose this template okay and you can just change whatever name okay but i, I will just keep it whatever the default one but you can just change it as per your convenience okay and click add once we add okay so see you will see one uh, machine learning configurations okay so there is some configuration you have to set you have to set environment you have to set data you have to uh, train the data then you you can evaluate the data and then you consume and then you can finish okay so there is a see there's a many options so i will cover everything one by one but yeah as of now i will use the data class classification so i will use this model okay so that our data can predict by the using the classification okay so use this one so this is a then after that you have to environment setup so now see i have set up in my local cpu which is taking this this information okay and then next okay now there are two option you can load your data you can load your data directly in your sql server or you can load your data like csv file tsv file or txt file okay so now i have a data okay in our txt file okay and also i can show you the data actually i just uh, getting an iris yeah so see this is a link okay let me zoom in for you okay this is the iris data okay this is the sample data where is the those information okay with this header uh, there is a no header but yeah i just added that that header so once i uh, extract that data in a txt file i just i just i have to import that file okay so this is that file actually okay so i copy that data and store in the txt file and this txt file i pointed to in the here and then open this txt file okay now see it is trying to preview the data also you are able to see the data okay whatever your data so see there's a special length special width and petal length and petal width and then classes okay now what need what you can do over here so see there's a option right see uh 
uh, one option like column to predict level okay so which column you want to predict okay so you can choose whatever column you, you want to predict so as of now i will use that class but you can choose whatever so i will use the class okay and there's one more option is called advanced data option so you can change it your data type and uh, whatever and see whatever predicted options i just choose this one so you can choose multiple as well okay so as of now i will use this one only okay and then what i need to do i just click the next okay now it is trying to do the data train okay there's a mechanism of machine learning they have to do the data train okay so if you give this some option okay see, see uh, where are you getting the data whatever things you just using this one okay the scenario environment and this and see it is a time to train so whatever time you want to give us like based on this is will trying to train the data okay so let me default is 10 but i'll just put a 30 second okay so that it should be take us 30 seconds see it's starting to timing 30 second okay so once it's finished so see it is trying to finalize model okay and now it is training completed okay so once it's training completed see is it a training result as well so it is just evaluate and this everything is just created okay and once you click the next it is a evaluate, evaluate section right evaluate section so here evaluate actually your data like based on this this is a sample data like i just passed to data like okay this this length this bit this length this bit and based on this what the data would be output so you can just check it over here as well like this just predict once you click predict you can see see this is a iris centos and then iris vector so based on this actually it is give us right so also you can just change it over here i can check like what is that other predict is changing or not okay now see it is changing right so based on this you can just click next okay now now this is a code actually where you can just use uh, in your application okay and there is another two option as well like see if you want to direct use in your console application to so just click that add okay it will add automatically or you can just use the web api okay so but i will show you like one by one like i will use this one as well and i'll also use this one and this one so let me copy this one first and go to your application program.cs file let me add over here okay now see whatever your model it is this is this model you have to pass this data as a sample data okay you can change it over here and based on this you can just here retrieve your data okay so how we can retrieve see there's options okay ml dot model predict okay so instead of this actually you can use that predict all levels okay so that you can get all the levels whatever predict levels okay but predict, if you use the predict so then you have to do a manual some you uh, know get this uh, field and then you you can use that field and show it it okay but yeah use this one so you can get is a dictionary see it is returning a dictionary based on your predicted levels and their data so i can do is a together okay so what i need to do i need to just write a one line of code okay so copy this okay so see whatever result i just use because this is a dictionary so i iterate for the iterating from that uh, for each loop okay and this is uh, this result have as a you know there's a key and value so there is a key and there's a value okay and i just pass it to you know this this is a configuration like that where i need to you know set up your column things okay so also i need to add some header over here okay so that i can show you like key inside that class and a score inside that score okay so that i can differentiate okay this is a key and this is a value okay and this is a configuration of this you know how many uh bit or how many you know uh, uh distance need to maintain of this class and scores headers okay so let me do that okay save it and finally what i need to do i need to add these things okay just for the uh, design perspective okay so end up this process read key and that's it and that let me run this application okay and see see it is hello world and now see it is a class and thus uh, whatever predictions it is give us right so this is a one way 
okay and now what you can do in here you can directly see now let me show you over here okay so that one way I, I have done directly use this code okay and the another way you can directly use this one is adding a new console application okay so once you click this add so see it is asking to project name whatever name you want you can give it okay now I will leave it as of now and then add so it will automatically add in your solution automatically see it is automatically add and also same things whatever I did manually it will give us give us to right see whatever our sample data it is passes to here and then just trying to some uh, design and then whatever data just predicted that get it this there and that for each iteration the for each and showing to over here okay you can I can show you that result as well same things so right click on that and set it this console application as a starting project and run this application see the same same result right without nothing do any manual task and same thing you can do uh, for the web application okay web api actually so once you click add so it will automatically add your web api project as well so let me show you see it is automatically added okay it is taking see whatever models is just taking and it is just returning your data right so let me run this application as well for you so that you can understand how is working in the web api the machine learning with dotnet okay it's running but see this is showing is a page not found right because uh, this endpoint actually using the swagger uh, interface right so you have to add the swagger swagger okay once you add the swagger see the predict endpoint is there and then you can just pass pass your data okay whatever data you want to pass like for example 4.9 okay let me try it now like whatever data you want just pass you can pass it the light over here like 3 and then 1.4 and then 0 0.2 okay and you can leave it this guy okay so that is done and then just click execute once you execute fail to parameter input is a request body okay I remove that one but yeah that one is required I guess okay so leave it that part uh, as a JSON string I think some validation over there that, that need to that we can handle actually now see once I once I pass this is a default it is given the data right so this is our request okay and this is our uh, output right so like this way this is way you can use it your uh, machine learning with dot net okay easily and next upcoming session will do you know many many things for other data model okay so till now thank you have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share